Hi, teachers, students, and lifelong learners. Welcome back to Sardion. Today, we're going to compare and connect two powerful tools for learning, Solo Taxonomy and Bloom's Taxonomy. By the end of this video, you'll see how these taxonomies relate and how to use them together to understand and assess learning. Let's start with a quick overview. Bloom's Taxonomy focuses on what you do in learning, like remembering, understanding, and creating. Solo Taxonomy focuses on how well you understand what you're doing, from knowing one thing to connecting many ideas deeply. Now let's connect these ideas by aligning their levels. Imagine walking again. Blooms shows the different actions you take. Standing, stepping, running. Solo shows how well you perform those actions. Whether you're just learning to walk or you're running like a pro. Here's how the levels in Blooms and Solo relate to each other. Remembering. Blooms. Unistructural. Solo. Blooms. At this level, you're recalling facts. For example, what is a triangle? Solo. You understand one basic idea, like a triangle has three sides. Understanding. Blooms. Multistructural. Solo. Blooms. You explain concepts or describe features. For example, a triangle has three sides, and its angles add up to 180 degrees. Solo. You know several facts about triangles, but don't yet see how they're connected. Applying. Blooms. Relational. Solo. Blooms. You use your knowledge to solve problems. For example, classify this triangle as scalene, isosceles, or equilateral. Solo. You connect ideas. For instance, you realize, if two sides are equal, then the triangle is isosceles, and its base angles are also equal. 4. Analyzing. Blooms. Relational to extended abstract. Solo. Blooms. You break down a problem and understand its parts. For example, explain why a triangle can't have two right angles. Solo. You begin to think beyond what's given. You connect properties and explain how they affect each other. 5. Evaluating and creating. Blooms. Extended abstract. Solo. Blooms. You judge ideas or create something new. For example, design a triangle with two equal angles and classify it. Solo. You go beyond what you've learned, applying concepts to new situations and even teaching others. Let's use an example to make this clearer. Classifying triangles. At remembering unistructural, you know a triangle has three sides. At understanding multistructural, you know there are equilateral, isosceles, and scaling triangles. At applying relational, you can classify a triangle based on its properties, like this triangle has two equal sides, so it's isosceles. At analyzing evaluating extended abstract, you can ask deeper questions like, how does changing one angle affect the triangle's type? Or, can a triangle have two equal angles without being isosceles? By combining Blooms and Solo, you see not just what a student knows, but how deeply they understand and can apply their learning. Here's the great news. You don't have to choose between Blooms and Solo. They work best together. Use Blooms Taxonomy to structure your questions and tasks. Use Solo Taxonomy to evaluate the depth of your student's understanding. For example, a Blooms question might be, classify this triangle. A solo evaluation would look at how well the student explains their reasoning and applies what they know. So that's how Bloom's and solo taxonomies connect. Which one do you use more in your classroom? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more teaching tips here on Sir Dion. See you in the next video.